One kind of multiplication is called stick multiplication because it's done with sticks. And uh, I don't have uh, sticks handy here, but you can uh, try it with real sticks. Same thing. I'm going to walk you through the steps of it uh, progressively. So we'll start with one digit by one digit, uh, two digit, three digit, and four digit multiplication. So you can see how it works in its entirety. Let's get started with something uh, simple. Uh, this stick multiplication is also called uh, Japanese multiplication. So it comes from this observation that if you have one stick, just one stick, and you lay across another stick there, it's going to have an intersecting point on these sticks. There's always going to be intersecting points, and uh, that's what we're counting. That's where the result is. So that intersecting point is the result. If you multiply one by one, the result is one. And I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, just bear with me. I know you can multiply one by one unassisted. Just uh, work with me on this one, you'll see how it works. Let's repeat the same experiment with two sticks. Let's see what two by two looks like. There's, that's how two sticks. And what uh, matters is that the sticks crisscross. It doesn't matter really what sticks you lay down in which direction first. As long as they crisscross, that's all that's required. And you can see that two sticks one way and two sticks another way. Two sticks there and two sticks there. They do have four intersecting points there. So two by two is four. Let's do another one with uh, not too many sticks. How about and in a different direction, how about 3 this way and 4 this way, 3 by 4. So we have 3 times 4. Sorry, and let's see how this works out. 1, 2, 3, 4 intersections there. 8, there's your 12 intersecting points. All of them. There, 3 by 4 is 12. So far so good. Let's do a 2 digit by a 2 digit. How about uh, something simple where regrouping for adding is not required? Say that would be 12 times 31. That would be fairly simple. This is how you do this one. 12 can be laid out in this direction. And I'm going to show you a couple of alternatives here. What you do need to remember with this 12 that the 12 is split here are your tens digits and these are the ones digit okay so that stick now represents and stands in for 10 so any intersection along this stick here has a meaning of 10 instead of putting down 10 sticks here you only put down one so whatever you see here you're gonna have to multiply or we'll have the place value of 10 so 12 times 31 so 31 will be 20, 30 and 1. Do keep in mind that these are again your 10s and those are your 1s. And this is how this thing works. It's, you, you do have to memorize which stick stands for the 10s because it does matter how you read the result. Okay, so these are the 10s here and those are the 10s there. When 10s and 10s multiply you're gonna have a hundreds digit so this cluster of intersecting sticks here represent the hundreds digits and you have three of them okay because it's the ten sticks crossed with the ten so the hundreds digit is three the next one is gonna be a ten digit and so that was the hundreds the next one is gonna be that intersection there and these ones okay and all of them together here these will be your tens digits because it's either a ten stick crossing with a one or ones crossing with tens so ten by one in any or either combinations is gonna be your tens digit and when you count them it's one two three four five six seven seven 
in the tens column. It's not a column, but I'll fix it for you. And then for the ones, you have two because ones sticks cross with ones stick, so it's a one by one situation. So those are your ones digits. So 372 or, or 372 that way. Now let's check it on a calculator double quick. 12 times 31 equals alas 372 see it works I'm gonna show you a slightly different layout so that your hundreds tens and ones line up vertically how about and this also will have uh, regrouping in it let's let's do it on a new sheet of paper uh, just give me a sec here there. How about the numbers? 100. Sorry, it's ugly there. there. 123 times 45. How about that? That has a lot of sticks. 123 is laid out. 123. Okay. Have to keep in mind that these are your hundreds. These are your tens and these are your ones. It's important. And then 45 is laid out. One, two, three, four. And then five here. One, two, oops, all the way there. Two, three, four, five. Yes, I know I'm not a Michelangelo by any means. Let's start counting. Oh, these were the tens digit here and these are the ones digits there. Do keep that one in mind. It's important because this can go wrong real fast. The number of intersections is not going to go wrong. The reading of the final result will go wrong. So, let's get started. One, two, three, four intersections are there. So, put down four there because hundreds are crossed with tens sticks so that's gonna be your thousands digit okay the next bunch of intersections are hundreds with ones and also and tens with tens see see tens with tens cross here and hundreds with ones cross there those mean hundred and these mean hundred so you can read them in one clump these are your hundreds digits so here is your thousands, these are your hundreds, there's going to be tens and ones, you see where it's going. Let's count the number of intersections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Just put down 13 at the moment, okay? That's where I said it's going to be needing regrouping. The next bunch of clusters is ones sticks with tens sticks, and that means tens, place value. And here's also tens sticks, these, this part of 40 and that part of ones. This also has a meaning of tens, so this is where the tens column will take shape here. Another potato. Let's count the tens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 of these and just write it down as is keep in mind these will be your tens and regrouping is needed lastly the ones will be counted 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay 15 of these little guys with a place value of ones okay now, in any column, you can't have a number higher than 9 in the decimal system, so 15 is too many. you got to grab that 1 and add it to these dudes here. So you just write down 5 for your final answer there, because you just took away the 1 from it. 22 plus 1 is 23. That's nice. You can't have 23 either. You can just have the 3. Grab the 2 and take it over there. Instead of 13, add that 2 to it so you're gonna have 15 write down the 5 from the 15 because you gotta carry the 1 over there add it to the 4 
and you're gonna have your final answer like so 5535 let's check it on our calculator how this stick multiplication works one two three times four five five thousand five hundred and thirty five alas no surprises there so that, that's how it works now I want to show you what happens when you lay it out wrong and you read it wrong if instead of if you don't keep in mind which ones are the hundreds and the tens it's possible to end up with four sticks here meaning 40 and five sticks here basically you're gonna have the same number of intersections but you're gonna be reading it uh, you're gonna be reading it um, uh, I'll show you 123 and we had uh, four there and so now we're gonna have four here one two three four there and five there okay and just make sure they are long enough everywhere Okay, and those are the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. And those are the tens, and those are the ones. Okay, so if you try starting here and count the number of intersections, that's five here, but hundreds and ones will make hundreds digits. But if you write them down this way, in the thousand column, it's not gonna work that way. Tens and hundreds will make one, two, three, four intersections there plus a whole bunch more here whatever is the result of it after adding all of these with all of those if you write it in the hundreds column it's not gonna work because those are thousands and these ones have a place value of ten and one ten so you're writing a bunch counting up a bunch of intersections with a place value of ten with another bunch of intersections with a place value of thousands okay so that's why it's not gonna work if you don't keep in mind uh, your place value of the stick. In this case, the correct way to reading it is this. You have to count up the thousands here and write down the thousands here and count the tens with the tens here and tens with the yeah uh, yeah yeah the tens with the tens is a hundred and the hundreds with the ones are also have a place value of hundred. So and write down the hundreds here and your tens will come out from here tens and your ones o for ones will be there so that's where this reading can go wrong it's gonna have the same number of intersecting dots as the previous version but uh, you got the idea and uh, experiment with four digit numbers have some fun this works totally